Okay, Sean, let's hear a little bit more about free cash flow from a financing perspective. Okay, Larry, let's do this. So as you guys may remember, our free cash flows from an assets perspective was actually negative 400. So we actually know that our free cash flow from a financing side is actually going to be 400 because it's going to be that reverse sign. So this is our equation. You can see that we have our change in interest bearing debt plus our change in common stock minus our interest that we pay out and also the dividends that we pay out. So let's start with our change in interest bearing debt. That's what IV stands for, interest bearing. So, you know, our notes payable that we're going to have, both short term and long term. So when we take a loan from the bank, we're going to have to pay interest on that. Okay, that's, that's the whole financing side of things. So we look over here, and we can see in 2010, we have a short term notes payable of 350. So that's one of the ones. But we also have this long term debt of 100. So we actually have 450 in 2010 of interest bearing debt. But then we look down 2009, we didn't have any short term notes payable. We didn't have any long term. So that actually is just a 450 change in interest bearing debt. So I'll write that in our box here. 450. Okay, now we want to look at our change in common stock. Okay? And we know that's in the equity section of our balance sheet. So we had 500 in 2010 and we had 500 in 2009. So we didn't have any change. So I'll put a zero in that. Now we want to look at our. Uh, our interest here, what we paid out, and that's actually going to be on our income statement, okay, because we have an interest expense. And you can see we have a 50 here paying out um, interest expense. So we put that in there, 50. And then we want to look at dividends. Dividends aren't going to be on our income statement, but we put it at the bottom because, you know, after net income, you can pay out whatever you want in dividends, or you can retain the rest into retained earnings. But I'm going to say for now, dividends were 0%. We didn't pay any dividends out, so we retained all of our income. So zero. And now we can just plug and chug, and here we go. 450 plus zero minus 50, that'd be 400 minus zero. So we have that plus 400, which is exactly what we wanted because we said that would be the reverse side of things. And what that plus 400 is telling us that we had to go out and finance um, some of our, our assets here because we ran out of cash. So that's important to know. That's all I have to say about free cash flows. Do you have anything to add, Lord? Good enough. All right.